It's happening. They have officially broke ground. There's the hole. Landon has never tried Oreos with milk. What? It's like you're making me crave it, just the thought of it. Oh, 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 oh. You have to like soak it till it gets soft. I have a hack to show you. Do you like it? Kaden's making a double stuffed Oreo from a non double stuff. So you go like this. What's up, fam, by the way? You get two cookies and you go like this. See? The two like that. Take one, scrape it off. And you put it on this one right here. Can you do that? Then put on this one, right? Hey, this is my milk. Hey, Lena, look. This is about to change your life. You get an Oreo, okay? You get a fork. You stick the fork into the Oreo. And now you no longer have. Milky fingers. You're welcome. Hey, look at this. A double stuffed oh, Oreo. <laughs> stuffed <laughs> Oreo. See? Look at hat, Kaden. <laughs> Someone get those away from me. They're so good. All right, who did this? Who brought these home? We don't usually buy these. Scott, he came home with Oreos and now we just have to eat them. We can't let them go to waste. Yeah. That's a hack. Yep. Are you guys gonna go swimming? I bet. Yeah. Chris put this little temperature thing in the pool. It tells you how hot it is outside, supposedly. Oh no, just this inside. Inside here. And that's, that's inside, inside and pool. that's outside. The pool is 80 degrees, almost 81 Wait, degrees. Hey, that is hey. warm. We don't, we don't need the hose. I know, you don't even need the hose. Mind you, it's 96 what? degrees outside. 96. It's 80 go get your swim trunks on. It's 80 degrees. Go get Wait, your Landon, socks off. I know our kids have a bad habit of going outside and getting their socks wet. Today is such a nice pool day. We just got the music going. We've got dinner cooking. Kids are teaching us a game. It's called Color Shark. I guess I played it with them at the old house, but I don't really remember it. How you play Color Shark is that there's one person at the end of the pool and they have to turn hey, around and they're facing many, a certain way. Or they're facing the opposite oh, direction color. of the pool and they say colors. They say like black, green, and like orange, colors. and all the people that are and not color it have a color in their head. And I feel like you should you have to tell someone your color too. I feel like you we should all tell you someone your color. It has to hold you accountable. Anyway, they think of a color in their head, and then as soon as the person who's it says your color, you have to try to quietly sneak under and get to the other side of the pool, which is really hard in this pool because it's really big. Where, how are you staying? If you're in the middle of the pool, how do you stay safe? Hello guys, you, you, go? you just have to swim. We should look up how the game know, is actually played. I wonder if there's other anyway. So if you can make it all the way to the side of the pool, if they hear a sound, if they hear someone swimming, then they turn around and then they have to try to catch you swimming to the other side. If you make it to the other side before the person reaches you, then that person wins, I guess. But if not, then that person is it. So if you go and then the person hears someone turns around, jumps and tags you, then now that person is gonna be at the next round. And I guess we just keep playing until everybody goes or like everybody gets across, I should say. The same person is it until everyone gets across. Yeah, so everyone gets across. Anyway. Oh my God, that was so cute. They just scared it. There's a frog that just, I saw. Ah. No, it's, it's in the water. Oh, okay, take it off. It. A frog just popped out of this hole right here. How do you open this? Pretty sure you twist it. It's, I think it's bolted in. What? Look, look, is he there? Wait, careful, careful, careful. Oh, he's right there! Oh, there he is! Oh, he's so big! <laughs> he's hey, no, no, no. Be nice, go, go save him somewhere. He's so ginormous. Oh my gosh, he's probably been in the chlorine. He's oh, no. ginormous. What? Oh my god! Oh, these are a lot of eyes. She's been looking for those. I guess we should check this every so often. Anyway, okay. Yay, the frog can still jump. Good news, good news. Yeah, let's go play. Anyway, that is how you play Color Shark, or that's how the kids have taught me to play Color Shark. Let me know if that's how you guys play it. Also, please, oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Please comment down below some fun pool games because the kids just have like the same two that they always play. And I wanna try to teach them some new ones. So what is a game that you guys like to play? I can either Google how to play it or you can explain it in the comments. We need some fun pool games for this summer. But anyway, we're gonna play another round. Kyson's it this time. Let's see who can make it this time.
happening, you guys. It's happening. <gasps> Do you see what this is? That is going to be the septic tank for Mimi's house. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so basically, out here in the country, we have full country living out here, which means, you know, we don't have city water, we have well water. So we, hot. I know it's super hot. We don't have city plumbing, we have our own septic tanks. Oh. And it is a whole learning curve for me. I'm still learning more about it, but basically your septic tank is size is dependent on the size of your house and it's located in a certain spot. So like our septic tank, our current one for our current house is located all the way that way in front of our house, like far in front of our house and where my mom's house is gonna be. The ADU, in order for it to be a true and permitted living space, it has to be connected to a septic system and that can happen a few different ways. One of the ways is that you can tap into the current septic system. If our current septic system was placed closer to this like dwelling unit, then that might be something that we would consider. But in order to do that, in order to connect it to the current system, you physically need to dig up a line. So I'm talking digging up cement, digging up landscaping, the entire way to that septic tank, which is very costly. And on top of that, you have to make sure that the current septic, septic tank that you have can accommodate for however big the new living space is going to be. So that's one way to do it. The other way is to put a new septic system in entirely, um, meaning digging a hole up in your property, placing a big, huge fat tank into the ground, covering it with rocks, etc., etc., and then Obviously, like you can see, we went with that route. The bathroom, which is going to be like back here, would then connect just under the ground to the septic tank, which is gonna go behind this. Sorry, it's kind of a mess right here right now. We're in the middle of a lot of things. Here's our trash cans, here's our trailer. It's going right behind the trailer right here. So the pipes are just gonna go boop, boop to the septic tank instead of digging up our entire driveway under the landscaping, out that way, and then connecting it that way, which can be problematic for a few different things. One, like I said, it is very costly to do that. Two, we would have to get it tested to see if our septic tank could even handle that. And three, if anything were to go wrong in the future with the septic tank, we would have a really long line of potential problems, if that makes sense. Like, if a pipe burst, like now we have to dig it up all again. So it just didn't make sense to do it that way. So we just went straight to putting in a new septic tank entirely. That way, if in the future we ever decide to add on more to either the ADU or get another ADU, which we may actually be making this ADU, like where my mom's gonna live, that space bigger after all, because at first we thought that we could have two, now we're thinking we can't have two, and we're trying to get some clarifications, but the septic tank that we're putting in would be able to accommodate for whatever that is, for more space, and, sorry, this is getting so confusing, we are still adding onto this house, you know? So, our current septic tank out there has to be able to hold also what we're adding onto this house. Anyway, long story short, <laughs> except that was a very long way of explaining it, we're getting a new septic tank put in, that way we can start the renovations on my mom's house and that officially starts today they have officially broke ground um i want to go over there and kind of see let me see if chris will go over there with me because i don't want to like just show up and they're like have you walked over there to see what they're doing the digging stuff yeah. can you walk with me is it a hole yet yeah you got plans to go somewhere girly are you hot are you cold are you going to the beach or are you going to the mall we have <laughs> five destinations right now oh god oh oh there it is Gonna be, I think it's gonna be um, a little bit bigger. Oh my god, there's the hole for the poop tank. We are gonna move this shed, by the way. We have someone lined up to do that. So they do this and then they fill it with the rock over there? No, they put the rock down underneath to keep it level so it doesn't shift. Oh, and then the tank but goes they, in. But I believe they're gonna put rock around it too. Yeah, I don't like know. I don't get it. Like rock is gonna surround it and everything so it doesn't move. Really and then they just bury it back up. Cool stuff. Did they say when they'll be done? No, I didn't ask either. Oh. The boys are in the Tesla. On another note, I am officially at that stage in parenthood where I have to question where my clothes, makeup, and hair stuff ended up because my teenage daughter takes it. She comes into my room and she borrows my stuff all the time, which I love. But I'm just like looking for hairspray. I can't find hairspray anywhere, so I came to her bathroom and sure enough. It's in here. <laughs> I love it though, don't get me wrong. I'll randomly find her like in my closet, pulling out different clothing items and I'm like, girl, just give me a heads up so when I'm looking for it, I know where it's at. 
Also, we're almost the exact same shoe size, so um, specifically when it comes to things like sandals, we swap, and like we have some of the same sandals, and so sometimes she'll end up wearing mine, or I'll end up wearing hers. Like, having teenagers is so fun. And they are one by one turning into just that in all of their own various ways. Although, Addie's not a teenager, and she also borrows stuff from my closet, so at what age did that start for you? Lily, I feel like, didn't start doing this until recently, like teenage years, preteen years, and Addie like started at age five, so. But anyway, guys, I'm actually gonna wrap up this video. I have dedicated the next couple hours to planning out some content for the next two weeks. I have a lot coming your way, but not only on here, but on TikTok also, which you guys, TikTok is actually my biggest platform now. So if you're not following me on there, go follow me there. There is so much coming out in these next couple weeks, but if you don't have it, don't worry. I'll be posting on here as well, as well as Instagram, but double check and make sure that you're following me on all those platforms, turn your notifications on, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in our next video. Bye, guys.